Hi, this is Lucy and today I'm going to show you how to build the Palace Spa. For this build, you will need catwalks and a flamer trap. However, the catwalks are needed for the dome. You may be able to create the dome blueprint without catwalks if you can line things up with patterned foundations. I'll get to that later. If this is something that you are interested in, please stay tuned. I'm going to start with a quick tour. If you don't know where we are, I'm at one of my favourite building spots. Here, overlooking New Gad, between Overlook Cabin and Somersville. Vault 76 is up here. Well, like a lot of you, I bought this set and I didn't quite know what to do with it. And so I thought I'd build a miniature Palace of the Winding Path. And I then decided to try and make it into a house but it didn't really work for me so I thought I'd theme it and I've made a women's only spa <laughs> it's the palace spa um these little outbuildings here I have put my workshop in it's split between two of them so I used the circus trailer doors to save a bit of space Same over here. Couldn't actually get my ammo storage box in, so it's hiding there. If you're wondering what this pink blob is, I appear to have a um, Scouts badge on, banner on. And of course, mannequins are static NPCs so it's showing up so that's what that is so this is sort of the reception bar cafe area obviously this is an award-winning spa This is the cafe, which is, of course, a fully working kitchen. We have a cooker, coffee, pot, fridge. I think I've got the freezer, actually. I should get that out, really, shouldn't I? You can actually merge items into this, although it's a display. You can also merge items into it. I merged the Nuka-Cola display. You have to merge it empty. You can still... Um, access it when it's merged down to fill it up this is a treatment room this is the latest in static electricity temporary facelifts <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> some stuff here this is the conservatory with the hot tub I had, as I said, started decorating it as a house, but just didn't kind of work. We have up here, if you look in the roof, we have the chandelier up in the apex of the dome. Now, that's not all of it. There is a secret hidden room. Now, I did try and put some stairs and catwalks up, but it just didn't work for me. So you have to abseil up here. And it's completely optional. There is a secret room, secret meditation lounge in the dome. Obviously, you don't need to have this glass. But I just like the kind of idea of this hidden room up here. And before we build it, I will quickly show you something. We 
when I originally put this roof on, I did put the roofs up. And I prefer them like this because they're much thicker than the flat ones, but it obviously means you can't use that room. So um, I will show you the way to do these roofs in both both ways when we build it so you can make a choice i'm overall i'm really happy with it um you may have noticed that this there are four walls in here i've overlapped these walls so that i could get this window wall in the middle and that was actually quite easy to do i will show you how i did that so, now I will show you how I built it. I'm going to start by kind of finding the middle, which is around here, because it's a circle. Everything's square, but we have a circular build area. And I'm going to line some foundations up with the road. This is just so that we can centre this. to try four and this is just as a guide we're not going to be snapping anything to this then I have this eight-sided small circle blueprint if you haven't seen this I will put a link down below the foundations are separated by th three quarters so I used a half and a quarter catwalk if you don't have catwalks you could probably get the same effect by moving a foundation three quarters by using the patterns on the foundation to line it up. Now we're going to place this blueprint right actually I think that's too far away. We still need room at the back for um, the conservatory. So we're just going to, it's a bit of a pain because you can't see, just use this as a guide to line it up so that you are kind of lined up with the road and we're going to try and get it as low as we can. And then place it. We do not need the roofs here so take these roofs off. Try not to delete a foundation, <laughs> that would be bad. Then we are going to add two more stories. The top story, the third one, will be our dome. So just use doorways. I always use the barn set because it's easier to tell which side is which. It's thin, it works with a lot of different techniques. We need to put roofs on. When doing something like this, I normally use the green roofs because they are the most forgiving. Now you will find that you may be able to get two on, but you probably won't be able to get more than two on at a time. Take a flat roof here on the inside, put one on the outside like this. I mean, obviously, if you have a friend, you can get in PvP. It is probably easier. Well, it's quicker. Place the toilet. Flame a trap. Generator. Going to move this here, then pick up this entire roof, move it there. Add some more roofs and just go around and do this until you have got 
all your roofs on. Right, once you've done that, we need to put the roof in the middle. To do that, take a quarter catwalk and add it like so. Add two, three walls and a half wall. Be careful adding foundations to this. If you want to do this without catwalks, it might be a bit tricky. You can probably eyeball it. Um, do not snap a foundation to it. Um, maybe try and eyeball a quarter catwalk away, but don't snap a foundation to it. I have found with these circular builds that if you snap foundations to the outside that they sometimes will not come off. You could probably try and do it. We will be taking a lot of these foundations off so maybe try it after we've taken them off. Right, we need a, found, uh, a roof and then another roof. And then another roof. <laughs> you have to have all your roofs destroyed to do it like this. And I'd missed one. Break the dependency by moving this one into a different position. And then you can take these extra walls off. Leave the top row on, but take all of these off. Again, being careful, we will be removing the floors, but you do not want to remove the floor in the middle. So, just take the walls off first. If you're not sure what you've got highlighted, always remember that it will tell you in the top right. It's always worth checking that it says wall doorway and not concrete foundation. Right, now we've done that, we can get rid we can pick these foundations up. We need is to leave to take everything but the foundation in the middle. So we are going to pick up these foundations and leave the one in the middle. Now, depending on what way you put this down, this foundation might be 90 degrees. If it is, just select it and rotate it. I'm going to put these, I'm going to put a lined pattern on these just so that we can check that they're all going in the same direction. And we're just basically going to go around in a square like so. If you have any weeds, put some confetti down. The next thing we need to do is add the flat roof for this building. Now, if you're just going to have the straight off flat roof, you can just follow this pattern around and put Put the roofs on in exactly the same pattern as the bottom and it doesn't matter which direction they're going as long as they're all going in the same direction. If you want to put those corners on and put them in an upright position you will notice that this corner is not in the right place. Right, that one is also the wrong way round. But it's the corners that are mostly the problem. So what you need to do when you're doing a corner is the roofs actually go in different directions. So that one's sideways, that one's frontways, as it, if that makes sense. Right, still in the wrong direction. Turn it 90 degrees. No, it's still in the wrong direction. 
Right, actually, that one is going in the same direction. One out of three will be in the wrong direction. So if you want these corners, just go around because you will not be able to put the one that goes in this corner in the right way without this wall I'll show you right if we put it in that way it's the wrong way if we put it in that way it won't go because the roofs will only snap together in the same direction And also, if they're not connected, <laughs> you will have a problem getting them off. Just change the shape and it will come off. So this one will need to go 90 degrees. Right. And you will have to keep checking them because whichever way you put them on, they, it will always be the wrong way. <clears throat> Right, that's going the wrong way. We can't turn that around without a wall. So I think you're getting the idea anyway. That one won't even, wall won't even go on. You have to put them on flat because obviously the um, the walls are in the way. So you can't put them even with the walls destroyed. Come on, Payne, go on. It's this one. Same again here, you won't get the corner on, so use walls to get these corners on if you're going to be using the raised roof. I am just going to go around and do the grid with flat roofs so they are easier. Then take the walls off. So you should have this floating roof. We will um, be repairing everything towards the end. Now. We're going to be doing some offsetting. You can either use a catwalk or stairs and a half floor to offset by half. Do that on all four sides. So your floor should look like this now. So we can start adding some walls. Now we're going to add the windows first. I know that these walls are inside out. That's fine. This is pretty much the only way you can, well, the easiest way to do this without too much faff. <clears throat> now we're going to use, and it's important you use these, the in-game brick wall. It's because of the way they break. We're simply going to flame a trap these.
and just go around and break wall eight. Right, now all your brick walls are broken. Remove the wooden walls or whatever you used from underneath. Do not repair these yet. You can take your winding path walls and we are going to put them like so. So that you're putting them on these three floors. That will be a doorway for the front. This will be a doorway. I mean, you can leave them open like I did with the bar. It's up to you. This is the treatment room. So it's another doorway. And you should be able to overlap these ones like so. Obviously don't, well you could put one in the middle if you wanted but that's where the window is going to go. <clears throat> and we're going to put walls all the way around here. Some of them I used plain walls and some of them I used the windows like so. Ones at the front were plain. The treatment room was all windows. I used one plain wall in the kitchen just so that where the things went there was a blank wall here. We can add the conservatory. Obviously you don't need to add the conservatory. You can just do this again. When I originally built it I just had it like that. I put the conservatory on when I decided I was going to turn it into a spa. I used this set with the brick but you can use whichever one you want can have some open windows if you want, up to you. I did put um, some vines on the middle ones. However you want to do the roof, up to you. I like the curved pieces. Is that the flat one or the curved one? Can't tell sometimes. There it goes. These should go on if the walls are broken. If they don't, swap them to maybe a green set or something like that because it's thinner. Next, I'm going to show you how to put the pillars on. But first, I'm going to add some floors out here. Come on. Um, we are actually going to lower this one. Just lower it. Come on, go. Now, I don't know if you've realised it's the same with the new uh, Regency White Spring set that the pillars are actually pillars. And by that, I mean they are a reskin of these. So you can't free place them. 
like this you have to snap them however as with the regular pillars put two together put a small floor object i usually use a power connector like so and then just Blueprint those three items, you will have a free place pillar. Like so. Now I did put, I'm just going to temporarily remove these or I'll move them over here. I put pillars on the edges here. Now you can, if you're careful, get them. Now the reason I put this floor here is that I think that they are going over the edge because that floor is there, but because it's lower they're not actually snapping to it. So just line these up like so. They may not be perfect, I'm showing, I have to say this because people complain, you didn't do it perfectly. They may not be perfect. I'm just showing you the technique. When I build my camps, sometimes it takes me a long time to get stuff exactly where I want it and I have to redo it and you're not going to watch a video doing that. So. And the other thing you may not know, I've said it a lot, but because I'm disabled, one of the problems I get is I get muscle spasms. So if I'm trying to line something up like this really, you know, perfectly, sometimes it'll just because my hand will move. So, once you've got those on there like that, we want to just take these off a sec. You can try snapping some underneath. If they won't go, flame a trap it, move the floor. Although, actually, I have a feeling, yes, you don't have to flame or trap them yet. You can just move it out like that. Now, we're going to have a problem. I don't want to lose that offset, so move that one over there. Move this one over here. Put these underneath. Not like that. <laughs> <clears throat> like that now flame a trap both these Then just put your floors back, like so. You can snap your walls back on, they will go over, like so. I did put a couple here, I'm not quite sure because of this wall whether they'll go in. We can try it. It's difficult to see where... There we go. If you need to see where the edges of foundations are, just temporarily swap one to a different colour. Yeah, unfortunately it won't go through here, so... Either do it before... <laughs> I'll just take it down and redo it. Unfortunately, when I'm building, I don't build in the way that I show you. It's very organic. I kind of build things and change things. So sometimes I get the build order wrong. So if you want the pillars here, 
take this off, put the pillars in, flame and trap them, and then just redo all that section. Going to put these, oops, I got it. Oh, actually no, no, I put an extra one in, there we go. Put those like that. We are going to carry the floors along. Trying to get them in the right direction. Put one behind like that. I think I am going to be in the way. Then just build the little I don't know what you call them, follies. <laughs> like so. We need to put roofs on over these pieces here. They should just go on. If you have a problem, use a thinner set like the green set or even the base set. We are now going to repair all. Right, we need to swap a few things around. So, these brick walls we are going to change to these windows. So you get this double window effect and if you look at it from the inside these are actually back to front but I actually think that this colour looks better on the outside so it's up to you if you don't want to do this do something else just put a regular window in there these are going to be These, these windows and these are all the way around apart from this one if you want the upper room then obviously put a doorway in there if not then don't bother just put another window in Use that doorway. Go around and do all of these windows, obviously. And we need to swap out the roofs as well. I put... The one with the finial on. And these are obviously just straight upper uh, vertical moves we also need to change these roofs up to the flat version of this or if you're using the corner pieces and the slopes then do that and if you want it put a glass flat piece in here if they're raised you it will be slightly higher it'll be half a tile higher but you can still snap a um, flat glass piece in I 
Finishing touches, obviously the floors I used this, which is the dungeon floor for the outside. I think I used it in the kitchen area as well. I used this sort of cherry wood in here in the main reception and cafe area and in the treatment room and in the conservatory I used the lazy river tiles I mean obviously it's up to you it depends what you have what you want your build <laughs> that's pretty much it the door was obviously the temple door it came with the set which is good because quite often they give us a build set without a door um, but there you have it so I hope you like the build I hope you have fun with this I'd like to be able to do more things with this set it is a very attractive set um, I don't know whether it's too kind of specific to do something else with, but I will have a think. <laughs> this was just my my first instinct was to try and recreate the pal Palace of the Winding Path. Um, I still remember the first time I saw it in the game. Um, I'd actually seen it on the map and I thought it was something that really, you know, warranted investigation. And I hadn't got to any of this section of the map. So I went up to Philippi Battlefield Cemetery and I actually climbed up the rocks or jumped up. Bearing in mind in those days I didn't have a jetpack or marsupial. So it took me quite a while. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, it is a beautiful location. And to be honest, I think the raiders should have moved in there rather than Crater. I would have. <laughs> so I hope you like it. I hope you have fun with this build. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching.